Hello ladies and gentlemen, Catholicos, Catholics, Christians, all who seek the truth. Um, today I thought, well, you know what? No more bad news. Well, at least for today, let's dwell on something good, something beautiful, something holy, something which gives us hope. Uh, today we will... Um, I'm just, I don't know, probably a lot of you know them, or some of you might know them. Uh, it's this group of Carmelite monks. They are in Wyoming in the U.S., and uh, they are building this magnificent, gothic um, church, cloister, monastery. And um, it will have places for people to, like laymen or lay, to go and spend some time and uh, to visit, to contemplate, to spend a few days at the monastery, to experience life without actually becoming a monk. So these are the Carmelite monks from Wyoming. And what's beautiful about them is they are 100% traditional, 100% Catholic, 100% Carmelite which was what they're supposed to be, holding on to the ancient Carmelite rule, holding to the ancient Carmelite liturgy. Um, so we're going to go through, and of course I'm going to show you how you, uh, a brief, well this is basically their introduction. They are, they are still wearing the tonsure, which is the, first of all, the tonsure is the traditional step into becoming a cleric in the Latin West. And even in the East, uh, monks and were tonsured, their heads were shaven completely. In the West, uh, hair was cut off in the form of a, a cross. And traditionally, clerics in the West wore the tonsure. So whatever their hair was cut, they shaved around it. So they would have a crown, like a crown of thorns around their heads. Now that was in the Roman style. The tonsure style in the British Isles was slightly different, but again, they wore the tonsure. So anyways, so at least these monks are trying to, they're maintaining the Catholic faith. They maintain the authentic, unchanged Carmelite, Carmelite liturgy. Uh, they, uh, the Carmelite discipline. Um, they have a hermitage. And uh, so anyways, so let's go through them. So, and I really encourage you to, to help them out. Um, they do have actually, uh, they, let me take you here to where they, um, they sell you, actually, where is it? Oh, here it is. They actually have, they roast their own coffee. So, and I've purchased this coffee previously. Actually, they make the the best hazelnut coffee. Um, so they have the flavored, not flavored, um, and and so forth. So you can browse through their coffees and help them out. Uh, if you have a shop or distribute some coffee, they can give you wholesale pricing. I'm pretty sure even if you're an individual and you buy a certain amount of quantity. I don't remember how much exactly, but they will give you wholesale pricing. So if you want to say save money, even though we're supposed to be helping them out, really it's a donation almost. You're enjoying good coffee and you're helping them out. Um, so it's up to you. If you were buying quantities, you can, you know, register as a for wholesale pricing and get the price uh, wholesale pricing. So they make really really good coffee, and I rem I don't know if they still have it, but they had a, a rum. A rum flavored coffee which was pretty good uh, but I did love their hazelnut one really really the best hazelnut coffee I've had so it is called mysticmonkcoffee.com so mysticmonkcoffee.com so this is where their website to you know purchase their coffees so really good stuff so I'm not gonna dwell on not just coffees even like shots you know for your uh, um, uh, coffee machines. So if you have a Keurig or whatever, they can, they make them for you. So you can use, still get their good coffee, support the good monks, um, help them survive, build a beautiful monastery, maintain the faith and spread it. 
um, and their prayers will be great for us all. So they maintain the ancient Carmelite liturgy, which is from the 1200s and actually even older. It's a Gallican style of the Roman rite. So for Gal Gal Gallican means it comes from Gaul, ancient France. So, and all the a lot of the um, Crusader monks like the Templars, the Hospitallers, and so forth, who were in Jerusalem at the time. It's called even the, the Rite of the Holy Sepulchre, which is the uh, where Jesus was buried in Jerusalem, the, ho the Rite of the Holy Sepulchre. So this is the official, the true Rite, the traditional Rite of the Carmelites, and it is still maintained in full by the Carmelite monks of Wyoming. So... Uh, and I mean, I'll give you their website. You can browse through it. You can see uh, their founder. Uh, he is he. This this the this priest on your left. This is their founder, um, the cloister. The so, and uh, he's done a great great job in 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 in. Um, at, oh. You go go to their donate button. You can do donation money online. You can uh, you can send them. They give you their address to send them uh, money if you need to. And uh, their newsletters. So this is their newsletters. You can shows you what's happening. What's happening in the monastery? What's happening in the building? What's happening in uh, so this is, for example, the foundation. They have this foundation which takes care of the construction of their monster. They're using stone. They're using stone like a real Gothic cathedral. Uh, I'm pretty sure not all of it, but a good significant portion. They're using stone to build this, this uh, church. Uh, let me move my face out of the way here so you can actually see. Oops, what is this? Stay in chrome. So you can see here. The actually this is what's been built that's up to December 2018 so it is taking a while but it is actually they're building it um, the traditional way to, as they said to last a thousand years so they are building the cloister and the, the refectory where they, they, they eat uh, so it is being built so I really I mean I mean, what more do you want? You want some monks who are actually trying to rebuild the, uh, this is the latest from 2019, summer 2019, their newsletter. Again, they have uh, vocation retreats, uh, young men applying to join the Carmelites. So they have discernment. Uh, see, look at that. So, and new postulants. So they're trying out their vocation. Uh, so I'm not going to dwell on this. I'll leave, I'll give you the link so you can go over it yourself and you know browse their website, and uh, and this is their uh, foundation um, website. Again, on this site you can actually do a monthly donation, so you don't have to worry about it. You can give them ten dollars, fifteen dollars, fifty dollars, a thousand dollars, whatever. Every month it'll come out automatically. Help them build their beautiful monastery, and. Uh, and this is founded with the approval of the um, um, local bishop and everything is, you know, up and up. So they're not an independent um, organization, if you want to, if you want to say, uh, let me move my face out of the way again. Let's see here, mountain property building plans. You can see some of their building plans. Um, All right, we got the chap. So, so look at this. It's like they are building something like right out of the Middle Ages, not some some I don't know barn calling it a church. So look at this. This is what that is what you are supplying. This is what you're helping build. Um, so and news about the monastery, donations, but the actual website, this is for the actual hermitages, again, for the monks, so you can have, so they will surround the actual, so each monk will have their own hermitage, their own place, um, and then they have um, 
guest quarters as well for potential guests who come and visit the monastery, spend a few days there. So a beautiful, beautiful um, monastery being built. So with good monks and actually a lot of their priests are being trained and ordained at the fraternity of St. Peter's Seminary, our Guad Lady of Guadalupe Seminary. Um, and um, yeah, so they're being trained over there. Um, they sell you great coffee. They maintain the old ancient traditional rite and they actually have a pure, kind of pretty nice uh, little gifts and mugs and whatever. So help them out, buy their coffee, buy their stuff, especially Christmas is coming up. It's a good thing to do. Um, so that's it. So at least we have some good news. We have some good um, um, orders still in the church who are flourishing, who are vocations. People are actually, um, you know, and they're, you know, seeking them to, to live a monastic life, a true traditional Catholic life life where your prayer and work and salvation to be truly united to God and to your fellow man uh, so that's it so this is a little short video about the traditional Carmelite monks in Wyoming USA so I'll give you their um, website visit it grab some of their coffees as I said I try to there, I haven't had it in a, a year or so, but I, I bought it several times already. Um, and um, it is very good. And so might as well, you get good coffee, you help monks maintain their life, help support themselves, help build a house for God and for souls. So that's it. So hopefully... You will give them a consideration, uh, spread the word about them. So maybe spread this video, like it, and share it on your Facebook page or Twitter account, or send it to your friends. Even just send them the the address of the uh, the, the these uh, monks' uh, website, so they will know about them. So people become aware. Yes, they are. They exist. There are people like this still. There are still monks in the Catholic Church who hold on to tradition, who are working in the traditional way, who keep the old faith, who maintain the ancient liturgy of their order, the whole liturgy, the rite of the Holy Sepulchre. And if you like coffee, you can support them, you can donate to them, to their building fund, to their, to their monastery directly. So... Um, Today is a Sunday, and I'll try from every now, every Sunday, do some good news, good orders, something to lift us up, instead of dwelling on what is not very conducive to uh, holiness or joy. This brings joy. So let's put our money where it will be do good. Let us not support those who spread evil or error in the church, but to those who bring glory to God and save souls and intercede through prayer and work to us, for us and for the whole church of God. So here we go. That's it. That's all for today. So support the Carmelite monks of Wyoming, the traditional Carmelite monks. Uh, I would. I hope you subscribe to this channel, click the like button, share it on your website, on your Facebook, you know, Twitter account, send it to your friends. Anyways, spread the word, help good monks, drink good coffee. All right, see you next time.